Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day. I'm here in Linville with Nora. We're having what I guess you would call a girls weekend. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is this project that I was working on over my break and uh, just the motivation behind it, what's going to be included in it, and also kind of explain the subscription part of it going forward. So I don't want to call this like a hiker magazine because when you think of magazines, it's like they've got uh, like a whole professional setup and writers and editors and stuff uh, on their team. And this is about as small scale as it gets right now, just me. But it's kind of like that, a mini magazine uh, geared towards hiking and backpacking. And it will be quarterly, so that means every three months there'll be a new issue. This first issue is the spring one, and it's launching March 20th, the first official day of spring. And then there will be summer, fall, winter, you get the picture. So before I go into kind of the content of it, and like I mentioned, that subscription part of it, I wanted to share a little bit of my motivation behind even doing this project in the first place. So I've personally been pretty disappointed in the content of a lot of the hiking and outdoorsy themed magazines that I'm subscribed to. Maybe you can relate, but there's been so many times when I am so excited for that new issue of Blue Ridge Outdoors and I rush to the mailbox and it's about something like dirt biking or kayaking or fishing, just things that I don't do and are of no interest to me. And it's kind of a shame, but that issue usually goes in the trash because these aren't activities that I ever do and really don't have any interest in, like I said. And I know that is kind of a reason a lot of people like that particular publication is because it caters to a wide variety of activities. But for me, uh, it's just not really what I'm looking for. But wait. Isn't there a specific publication or magazine that is geared towards hiking and backpacking? Like it's in the name? Yes, and this is only my perspective, my humble, meager opinion, but it seems that a large majority of their content, specifically in the paid printed issues that I'm subscribed to, are very political. If it's not about some social injustice issue, it's about climate change. And that's really not something I want to pay to read about page after page, issue after issue. I could be wrong, but I just get the feeling it's not so much written by hikers for hikers, but rather by activists for hikers. The more frustrating part is it's not all like that online. In fact, a lot of the free stuff on the website is very helpful backcountry advice. Uh, and I guess I just thought that the stuff I was paying for would be better, but instead it just seems to be not my cup of tea. But rather than griping and complaining and being dissatisfied with the things I was subscribed to, I figured why not create my own? Why not make something with the kind of content I would want to see? So that's what I got to work on over my break. So here's the part you actually came here for, probably, and that's uh, this project I'm doing. This hiking publication magazine, whatever you want to call it. It's really short and sweet, just a couple pages, and while you get new content with each quarterly issue, at the same time, you know what to expect from it. And this is geared toward folks who are already a frequenter of the trail and assumes you have the basics down already. That's not to say beginners can't get anything out of it, but the audience is the kind of folks who are looking for a day hike recommendation for this weekend or a new recipe to try on their upcoming trip. But most of all, the folks who can take a backpacking trip recommendation, that little bit of info about it, and then do their further diligent research to decide if that trip is best for them. So that kind of gives you an idea of 
who the audience is for. So you really won't find uh, a recurring lesson on Leave No Trace. Not to say those things aren't important, they are, but like I said, the audience is folks who already know those basics. And of course the hope is that it will grow and gain traction and gain a larger audience. And big picture idea is to eventually open it up to submissions and have other hikers and backpackers who are in my network to contribute to it. So if they've just gotten back from a really awesome backpacking trip and want to do a short write-up of it with just the basic information to share with others, or they finally figured out how to perfect this recipe they've been working on and want to share that. Those kind of ideas are my big picture on it, but ways down the road, I want to start small and kind of get the ball rolling on this first before uh, kind of expanding it like that. So here's how it will work. I mentioned already that the first issue launches March 20th and the link to it will be in the description. It's going to be on my website. And if you are watching this prior to March 20th, which I'm probably going to post it before then just to get your attention to it, uh, it's not going to work until after that date. There won't be anything to look at prior to March 20th, but the link will be there. And after that date, you can read it, look at it, all of that. But this first issue is going to be free to read so anyone can access it just to give you an idea of what to expect. And then there will be a small subscription fee for future issues like summer, fall, winter. And I'm going to give the option to subscribe quarterly or annually. And there's also a link in the description to that plan selection page. So if you're wondering, well, what's the benefit of each? It really just depends on what you want to get out of it. So why pick annually? Well, for one, you get a better deal per issue by signing up for all four for the entire year. And also you won't have to update your subscription. You just have to do it once a year, once that term runs up. Whereas quarterly, if you want to kind of pick and choose which issues to get and which ones to skip, you will have to update your subscription to get the next one. But you also have that option where if you would rather skip the winter issue because it probably won't interest you, you're not locked into that whole year commitment. And I know this is a lot of info to throw at you in a video, but everything I'm explaining here and a little bit more will be in like a written up form on the website. There will be multiple places to read and reread and regain all of this information I'm kind of tossing at you in the video. And when the time comes, if you decide to subscribe to the future issues, make sure you download them. It will be access to the issues for that period, whether it's quarterly or annually. So make sure you download it uh, if you choose to subscribe in the future so that you can have that copy of it. And of course, there will be the option to it with clear directions on my website on that page. Hold on, I've been spending all this time telling you about this thing and I haven't even shared the name. So get ready for this. Bear necessity. Yes, with the little pun of bear versus bear. And the tagline is for hikers by a hiker. And I'm sure you get it already. Bear necessity for hikers by, you get it. But I'm gonna explain it to you anyway. So as hikers and backpackers, we try to go along with just what we need, those essentials, the bare necessities, if you will. And we don't need all of this extra stuff. That's pretty much what you're getting with this, the bare necessities, nothing more, nothing less. So with each issue, there's going to be a featured hike, backpacking trip recommendations, a recipe to try out, a gear review. You get the idea. And it's all coming from someone who has seen it, has done it, even down to the gear review is a piece of gear, an item that I regularly use on the trail and a recipe that I've actually tested out and eaten and really enjoy and want to pass on to you. And as I mentioned, hopefully in the future, coming from other folks who actually have seen it and done it, who actually use this item and have tested this recipe and want to pass it on to you. 
But before I let you go, just want to summarize really quick those main points about this. First issue, free to read, free to access, and it will be March 20th. Link will be in the description, but the link will not work prior to the launch date. You can't see it before it's been released. Link to that subscription page will also be in the description. And please let me know if there's some kind of like technological bug or anything. I do my very best to test everything beforehand, before it launches. But the same way with the itineraries, you guys have been super helpful. If something doesn't work, then I hop on the computer, I work my magic, I fix it, and then it's available uh, just with you guys letting me know if there's any trouble whatsoever with it. And it's a small little publication, a couple pages right now, but as it gains an audience, the hope is to grow it, add more segments to it, more content, so just stick with me, okay? Now before you go, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notifications bell, like this video, and even leave a comment. In fact, after the first issue launches, Come back to this video after you've read it. Tell me what you like, what you'd like to see going forward because commenting really helps with the algorithm. And so if you comment now and then after it launches, you come back and give me your feedback, then that will kind of help get the word out on this project that I'm working on. But so I thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to see you again next time. Tracing my footsteps through the wind.